Okay. I'm recording. This is the baby. Yeah. Give me this, sir. Yes, that's the baby. I want to see her face. Okay, hold on. Just hold on. Let mommy sit down. Okay. Did you wash your hands? Wash your hands, Aiden. I wash my hands. Good girl. That's a little Aww. baby. Baby Cece, I got two sisters. Yeah, <laughs> Aiden, you got two sisters, right? You got two sisters? Who's the other one? Aiden's got two sisters. <laughs> oh, Aiden has two sisters. Aiden, you let them touch them? Yes. Oh, yeah. being very careful. And you're getting there, and I'll take a look. I'm going to take a family picture. Go ahead, get in there. Oh, okay. Get in there. Bye, Mary. This is a little video, but I'm going to take a picture of the family. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, that's so cute. Light. Turn on the light, Papa. Put on the light. Hello. 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 It's been a minute, or well, not a minute, but it's been a week since she's been home. Um, really try not to let her get sick from these kids because Aiden keeps on getting sick at school and coming back home sick every time he goes to school. Every time he comes home, he comes home with a cough and stuff. And the other day, the school had the nerve, the audacity to call me to pick him up because he was throwing up like they're not the one getting him sick. And then they wanted to treat him like it was a flipping virus. So I was pissed off, to say the least. Well, they asked me to take him to the doctor to get a doctor's note for him to come back to school or quarantine. So I said, okay, F you. I'm going to keep him home. So I asked. Yeah, he's been home. Um, but the baby's been home for a week. She's not sick, thank God, right now. Um, she was sounding a little congested for like two days. And then now she's fine. So, I'm guessing she's good. Um, I'm taking a lot of vitamins. I'm so sick. I'm, well, I wasn't taking my penny. I, got up I got it. I can't lie. But I am taking my prenatals now. Hey, I was going to get the baby. Now it's my baby. Sit. It's my baby. Okay. Like I was saying, I am taking my prenatals now. She's a bossy one, you guys, so bear with me. She's not going to let me do everything I want to do, like right now. Like I was saying. So she's not going to let me do everything. But it's my fault because within that week, I've been snuggling her, holding her, sleeping, having her sleeping on me. Even if I don't sleep, I don't care. I feel like I needed that. I still need more time to get you know snuggle her but i'm going back to work soon so i don't know how that's gonna go if for whatever reason i i, I feel like i can't do it i'm not gonna force myself if i miss my baby you know you guys know i work at home so i'm hoping it all works out because you know extra money is always good to come in but um yeah um but the baby's home, and that clip, sorry, it was it, it was filmed the way it was filmed. I'm just... It didn't go to your room. No. Hold on. Yeah, so that clip that you guys saw, it was actually my mom who filmed it. She actually stayed with the kids for us that day, which we're grateful for, because I didn't know how we're going to pick up the baby um, all the way that far um, with... One of the kid not be, kids not being in a car seat because my car cannot take all three car seats. Um, so I had to put her seat in the other car. And then, you know, we drove that car to pick her up. Um, so I was so happy that my mom was able to do that. So grateful because she absolutely didn't have to do that um, for us, but she did. Um, yeah, and it was, it took a while. They told us we pick her up at 3. I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to go at 3, 3.30 even to give them a little more time. And I'm going to get my baby girl. And we got, nah. We got home around 7 p.m. 
so it took a minute for them to process what they need to process of course they have other babies and then the nurse had to give um do her part and she has other babies that she's watching so like you know i was like i can wait a couple of more hours because i waited over a month for this so i can definitely wait a little bit longer and then um yeah but she's been doing really really well um they gave her to us at four pounds um she's still four pounds um but you know when they reach at 35 week mark that's when they usually leave the hospital and for her she actually left the hospital i think around 36 weeks and a couple of days yeah so yeah um what else mm. yeah we're just adjusting to life of a family of five three kids um hubby has really been doing everything working and making sure especially for the times that i couldn't um cook <clears throat> or do stuff um he was actually the one doing all of that so and he still cooks because he still knows that i have a lot of my hands so he still cooks whenever he can um but yeah we're figuring life out but um i wanted to show you guys the kids reaction to the baby to seeing the baby for the first time and then i'll show you guys the reaction holding her for the first time all of that is coming um she's gone to three doctor's appointment one is an eye appointment and then her regular pediatrician if i'm saying it right p i can't say the word okay so she's gone there twice they actually have to see her weekly to check on her weight and stuff like that and yeah but for now that's it i just wanted to let you guys know she's home and we're happy this it's actually was one of the happiest days of our lives you could see the smiles on our faces how like we're cheesing all of us were really happy the kids me and dad my mom we were just happy to have her home you guys because it was hard to go back and forth to the hospital it was hard for me not to have my baby here having to watch her on a camera every you know night i'm just here empty bed all of that depression was hitting hard um it wasn't postpartum it's just i couldn't see my child like the way i wanted to i couldn't hold her the way i wanted to like i had a lot of time to think and see everything like that so it was hard i can't lie and um sometimes i try to vlog and i just deleted i didn't post um i didn't feel like talking to people much so yeah it was it was hard but nonetheless to say god gave us strength and we did it now she's home with us safe and sound she was safe and sound at the hospital but i'd rather have my child with me okay um yeah anyways thank you so much for watching today's video don't forget to like and subscribe because we're gonna have some fun videos i'm gonna dedicate this just to do whatever i want to do what i want to do in life because your girl almost died for the second time again it's almost like like god is like shielding me from all this you know death wanting to take me like he's like no you have a purpose here on earth and you have to fulfill that before anything so yeah you guys that's just what it is so i'm just gonna do what i wanted to do with my channel a long time ago that i haven't been doing because i'm too scared but i don't care no more okay oh yeah peace out